Good day, Grade 8, and welcome to Tuma Mina Teaching. You are tuned into your second Grade 8 EMS Financial Literacy Lesson for Term 2. In this lesson, we'll take some time to understand the accounting equation. So are you ready? And you know the beat? Let's get down, let's get down to business. In Term 1, we dealt briefly with the accounting equation. So let's see how we will apply it practically. So Grade 8, in accounting, we can show every transaction as a simple equation. And remember, in accounting, there's always a positive amount. So the accounting equation is assets equals owner's equity plus liabilities. The three elements of the accounting equation must always remain in balance. So remember grid eights. The three elements, assets, owner's equity and liabilities of the accounting equation must always remain in balance. In grid eight, we are only going to focus on two elements of the accounting equation assets and owner's equity. But in grade 9, we are going to cover liabilities. So grade 8, in order to work with the accounting equation, you need to know what an asset is and what an owner's equity is. So let's have a look at the following table to identify what an asset is and what owner's equities are. So tip. The following table is very important and something that you need to learn by heart. The following tips will also help you understand the accounting equation a bit more. When you look at the effect of a transaction of assets and owner's equity, you must see it from a business point of view. So after reading through the transaction, ask yourself, what happened? Remember, a transaction is an action or an event that takes place in a business. You should also remember, a service business is when you offer a service in exchange for a payment. For example, wedding planners, caterers, hairdressers, plumbers and electricians. Okay, so let's get practical. We'll be using a business that you covered in Term 1, Bake at Brenda, to explain the accounting equation. Do you remember Brenda? She opened up her own bakery. But if you forgot, you're human. But you can go back to Term 1's lesson. Let's look at a few examples of the effects of transactions on the accounting equation. This will include capital contribution, services rendered, and rent income. Transaction 1. Capital contribution. So grade 8, I'm going to give you an example. But before I get there, I want you to identify the key or relevant accounting information that will influence a transaction. So let's look at this. Brenda started her own business a bakery by depositing a capital contribution of 100,000 Rand. Receipt number 01 was issued. Let's look at the key or relevant accounting concepts that will influence the transaction. Within the scenario, the word capital contribution came into play and also receipt. But what is that grade 8? When we talk about the capital contribution, we talk about money that the owner supplies. But receipts refers to the amount of money that a business receives and the deposit in a current bank account. Grade 8. Remember to always distinguish between the owner and the business. The owner and the business are separate entities. So to sum it up, the asset cash increase 
by a hundred thousand rand and the owner's contribution gives the owner interest in the business called owner's equity. The owner's equity will increase by a hundred thousand rand. You should always test if a transaction is filled in correctly. Remember, we are looking at two components within the accounting equation. Assets equals owner's equity. Therefore, the 100,000 Rand representing the assets equals the 100,000 Rand representing the owner's equity. Thus, the equation is correct. Remember that Brenda contributed 100,000 Rand towards her business. This is an asset because cash increase and it also increases owner's equity. Let's look at the effect of the capital contribution in the following table. You will see that the table is divided into two. On one side we have the assets and the other side we have the owner's equity. The effect on the asset side is a plus 100,000 and the reason for that is cash increases. And because the cash increases on the asset side, the effect on the owner's equity will also be a plus. And the reason for that will be owner's capital contribution. Transaction to services rendered. So let's look how does service rendered influence the asset and owner's equity within a business. A business received 33,000 Rand for service rendered and this was recorded on a cash register roll. Remember, you need to identify the relevant or key aspects within the sentence or transaction to see how the transaction influenced the account. Received. What is that? It's an amount of money that a business receives and deposits in the current bank account. And the cash register role, that is income because of service delivered. A service business offers a service to a client and then receives money in return, which is an income for the business. The asset cash increases by 33,000. No asset decreases, so the total assets increases by 33,000 Rand. Receipts that have the effect of increasing on the owner's equity are called income. In this case, a service was rendered to a client and in return, the business received money, which is an income for the business. Thus, the equation is correct. So let's look at the effect of the transaction on the account of the business. Similar to the previous example, a table divided into two. On the one side, we have the assets and the other side, we have the owner's equity. On the asset side, the effect is a 33,000 Rand plus. Reason for that is cash increases. On the right hand side, we have the owner's equity and the effect of that is also a 33,000 plus. The reason for that is income was earned. So the third transaction, grade eight, we will be looking at rent income. And again, when I'm going to read the scenario to you or the statement, I want you to identify the relevant or key aspects of the transaction to determine the influence it will have on the account. Bake at Brenda received 15,000 Rand from Jame and Loy for the rent of offices in their building. Receipt number issued is number 02. Remember, I have asked you to identify the words that will help indicate the accounts that is applicable. So what are those words? Receipt and receive. That refers to an amount of money that a business receives and deposits into the current bank account. Rent, which is also seen as income, and grade eight, this is when businesses are renting out their premises 
and receive or earns money for renting the premises and therefore it is called rent income. So let's look at how do we record this into the accounting equation table. The asset cash increases by 15,000 Rand, no asset decreases, so the total assets increases by 15,000 Rand. Receipts that have the effect of increasing owner's equity are called income. In this case, the relevant income is rent income. Thus, the equation is correct. So let's look at the equation table. Remember, it's divided into two columns. On the one side, we have the assets, and the effect here is that there's a 15,000 Rand plus Y, and the reason for that is cash increases. On the other side, we have the owner's equity, and the effect of that credit is 15,000 Rand plus, and the reason for that is rent income. Great. This marks the end of another lesson on financial literacy. See you next time when we will discuss and learn about the Cash Receipt Journal. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. These lessons are very costly for us to produce, but we are very determined to keep it free for everyone. We produce these lessons at the rate at which it gets funded. So here are three ways to join hands with us to keep it free for all South African learners. First off, share our resources so that more people can benefit. Secondly, you can add us on my school as a beneficiary. This will help us immensely. Thirdly, we give Section 18A certificates, so your contribution will have a tax benefit. So let's join hands and collaborate for free quality education for all South Africans. Thank you.